Hey everyone, welcome to day one of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And every day we're going to look at a scripture. Uh, and our heart and our goal here is to not only pray, but pray scripture. And not just pray scripture, but really begin to get better this year at engaging our Bibles, asking questions, learning, growing, interacting with it, because this is alive and active and can change your life. And so every day for the next 21 days, we're gonna look at a scripture. And together what we wanna encourage you to do is walk through our SOAP devotional plan that you can find on our website. Now, SOAP is a devotional method that stands for scripture, observation, application, and prayer. So every scripture that we give each day, we want you to walk through that. What do you observe? How can you apply it? And how can you pray? So for day one, we're looking at this scripture in 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 23. It says, neither will I walk off and leave you. That would be a sin against God. I am staying right here at my post praying for you and teaching you the good and right way to live. So that's our scripture. That's the S. Observation again, what you're doing, ask God, God, what are you saying to me in this scripture? What, what stands out to you? What seems to be really something you're like, wow, I never saw that before. I never thought about that. For me, when I read this, I read the part where it says, I'm staying right here at my post praying for you. This was a guy named Sam who was saying this about a group of people he was praying for. And it just really stood out to me that he was not going to quit praying for these people. Like that was the big thought that I got out of like, wow, Sam said, look, I'm gonna pray for you and I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna stay at my post and I'm gonna keep on praying for you. And that was inspiring to me. I mean, that how many times do I maybe start praying for someone, but I stop? Maybe because the way they're acting, maybe because it doesn't seem like anything's changing in this situation. But what really got me was that I'm not going to leave my post. No matter what you do or don't do, I'm gonna keep praying for you. So that was my observation. What is God showing you about this scripture? Application. How can I apply this? And that's the question you're going to ask. How do I apply this? Is it a, a changing the way I think or the way I see something? Or can I actually apply it in my life? And so for me, my application is this. I'm just going to not stop praying for maybe that person that I've given up on. I'm asking myself the question, Mike, who is that person that maybe you started praying for, you started interceding for, but you gave up on it? Man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick that prayer back up for that person, and I'm going to keep on praying. And I'm going to do what Samuel says. I'm going to stay at my post, and I'm going to keep praying for that person. Man, how can you apply what God is showing you in this scripture? And then the last thing is pray. I want to pray for you, but this is it. The greatest prayers you pray will be scriptures. You can pray scripture. It's so important. Don't just read through your Bible. Pray through your Bible. So how can you pray this scripture? For me, this scripture, let's just pray. Who's that person? man that you really feel like uh you've kind of given up on maybe today you pick that back up and start praying for that so i'm gonna pray for you right now in this moment god i thank you that you you know those people in our life that we need to pray for again and i pray you bring those people back to our remembrance that we would know it's a cousin it's a sibling uh it's a it's a parent it's a co-worker god who is that person god help us have a conviction and um, a, a compassion for those people Help us have a conviction to keep on praying and not give up. Help us, God, stay at our post and keep praying. Have a great day.